back here with star of the Upshaws, Wanda Sykes. You're back on tour, which yes. must feel good. It does. After being off tour for so long. Mm -hmm. um, because these are the greatest people in the world. Yes, they know. are. And you may not be able to pinpoint the moment, but why did you want to get into comedy? Is do you, do you have like a seminal moment for you? You know, I just remember growing up and watching all those great, you know, variety shows we had. You know, growing up, you know, mm -hmm. Smothers Brothers and uh, Ed Sullivan. Ed Sullivan, yes, yes. Yeah. You know, Flip Wilson, all that, and. Um, and just just sit with the family and laughing and listen to my grandmother laugh, my mother laugh, and I, I just all, that always just stayed with me. And then you know, as like after college and everything, um, I just hated every job that I had, and uh, <laughs> just was like, this is not what I'm going to be doing the next forty years. Come on, um, so I just end up being a raging alcoholic if I stay here this long. Mm -hmm. You uh, can do both. I can do both. Yeah. A lot of people do. Yeah, A lot yeah. of people do. So, that. yeah, so I just remembered, like, how much I love comedy and how much I love making people laugh. And do you have I, early memories of making people laugh? Uh, yeah. I, I, I knew I had something when, um, I think I maybe was in, like, the sixth, seventh grade, and we were having a block party, and the neighbor across the street, um, o older gentleman, you know, war vet, um, he, you know, he had thrown him back a little bit too much, mm -hmm. and uh, he's retired. Come on, the man fought in the war. Um, so, and he fell, and he, he bumped his, cracked his head open, basically, and, and all the other adults were kind of, you know, a little sloshed, too, so it was one woman who was sober, and, uh, and they, they was, like, wanted to go with her to, to take him onto the military base, because, you know, my dad's military, so it was like, go and show her how to get there and all that stuff, because, you know, we didn't have the ways back then. So, um, so we get to the, to the Army hospital, and, uh, you know, getting them checked in, and the, and the doctors asked, they said, look, uh, you know, we have his records, but is there anything else we should, we should know about him? And I was like, well, I wouldn't put him near an open flame right now. <laughs> and the doctors fell out laughing, and I was like, <laughs> Something. Speaking of the Ed Sullivan Theater, I just found out that, that one of your um, early comedic heroes uh, actually performed here, and I've always loved her stuff, and that's Mom's Maybe. Yes. Yes. And... For the, for the people who don't know, tell them who Moms Mabley was. Oh, my gosh. Uh, my hero, uh, basically. No, comedian, I mean, she she was, like, first started back in the, what they called the Chitlin Circuit, and uh, and she just, she was just really ahead of her times. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the jokes that she would do, she was, like, one of the first comics who actually would, would talk to the audience, you know, mm -hmm. instead of uh, uh, just, like, doing, like, jokes, she would, she would say, let me tell you something, kids, or, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and, and she, and she was, like, it was, like, self-deprecating somewhat, but it was, it was just also, like, political, um, you know, uh, she would uh, talk about social issues, just, just so, just really, really funny. Just well, you got met, to play her me. in The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and I'm curious, what's that like to play one of your comedic heroes? Surreal. Surreal. Yeah. And not only did, did I get to play her, I got to play her on, a, on an amazing show like Ms. Maisel, and we shot it at the Apollo Theater. So I am standing wow. on the Apollo, and that was mom's home, like, you know, dad and, and in DC. But yeah. Well, your, your new Netflix, or not new, but your new season mm -hmm. of your Netflix show, The Upshaws, returns uh, for season two on Wednesday. You co created the show, uh, you star in it, you're an executive producer. Um, what can we expect from season two? More hilarity. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's you should just really name the funny. show that. I know. It's, it's really funny. I love the show. I love this cast. I love the writers. Um, you know, it's, it's the Upshaws, they're, they're messy. It's the working class um, African-American family in, uh, in the Midwest. And, uh, you know, it starts with Mike Epps, Kim, Kim Fields. And, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's just more, more, more drama, more, more comedy, just... We have, mess. A, we have a clip right here. Does this need to be set up, or is it generally understood? I think you'll... Let's get it. Let's see. I think Jim, you'll figure it out. Let's see. Baby, we ought to see her. If I put sugar on corn chips, that's Frosted Flakes, right? Just add a banana. Now go. I'm trying to get this place straightened out before Althea gets here. Peep 
simple self. I grabbed the last pack of markers, and this Karen came at me with a pair of safety scissors. I, I don't want to get into it, but you'll see it on the news. Thank you. Uh, wait a minute. Where... Where's the cucumber? Like I said, you'll see it on the news. There you go. Wanda, lovely to see you. Thank you for being here. Season two of The Upshaws premieres this Wednesday on Netflix. It's Wanda Sykes, everybody. We'll be right back with Ronan Farrow.